All right, let's download and install Canimate. Quickest, easiest way. Go to tapdroid.com and either click Get Canimate or Download. Once you're at the forum, click Get Canimate. And this is the link to the download links. At the time this video was made, you were still able to get Creature Creator at Spore.com. You can, if that's where you want to get it from, that's fine. But I am using in order to attempt to generate a little bit of revenue. You gotta wait five seconds and then click skip add and then we're down, downloading creature creator then go ahead and click the canimate download link wait five seconds click skip add Once you've got them downloaded, go ahead and install Spore Creature Creator. I do suggest if you haven't played with Creature Creator, spend a little time with it, get familiar with it. Click Next, accept the agreement, click Next. Please leave the directory default, otherwise Canimate will not function properly. Some of these processes take a little extra time, so I'm going to skip through and do download the Electronic Arts Download Manager or Update Manager. Just because some machines have issues with Spore Creature Creator and if you have the Download Manager, you can get all the updates. You may be asked to upgrade DirectX. You'll want to do that. Once installed, uh, I've already seen the notes. Don't want to see the notes. Now we're going to install Canimate, unknown publisher. That's me. Click Run. I made this real quick and easy, so just click Next, Next, Next. This takes a moment, so I'm going to go ahead and skip through. Once installed, click finish. Now we're going to go ahead and start Canimate. I'm going to view all my desktop icons. And the Canimate icon looks like this. So, run Canimate. Immediately, Canimate comes up and the listener pops up. We're going to, I'm going to put the listener behind Canimate. Oh, there's a uh, the download manager attempting to update. <clears throat> Creature creator starts. Do continue with the download manager updates. All right, let's get started. First off, this box comes up with some advertisement. Just click out of it. Now this next window, you can register if you plan to play the game online. I'm not going to, and I'm gonna click don't show me this screen, this window again, and click cancel. I'm gonna click the Sporepedia, and I don't wanna see this jargon. It's nothing I need to see, so I'm gonna click don't show me this window again. And these are just a couple creatures I made. I'm going to go ahead and click on everything. And the majority of these creatures should be on your machine. You can choose anyone you want. However, in this tutorial, I'm going to go ahead and choose the last creature that I created up here in the top left. Just because I want to point out a couple things. In this version of Canimate, your actor or creature 
must have both the sneak attribute for the walk animation and the sprint attribute for the run animation. I'm going to go ahead and click edit. Open up the editor. Now as soon as you open the editor, go ahead and on your keyboard, hit zero and that will activate Canimate and you'll see your DNA count change color. Then on your keyboard, hit the number four and your DNA count will jump up to 4,444. Now this creature already has the sneak and sprint attributes. So on your keyboard, if you hit the number two, you'll see the walk animation. And if you hit number three, you'll see the run animation. But for this tutorial, if you're building your first creature, I'm going to go ahead and click down here in the bottom right to build a brand new creature from scratch so you'll see how to add the sneak and sprint attributes for your, for your custom built creature. Uh, this is only necessary in this version of Canimate. The next version you won't have to do this. So I got a torso and I'm going to add some legs. Let me move Canimate up here. I'm going to add some legs, just any legs. And in order to add the sprint feature, or the sprint attribute, I believe there are there's four or five feet in this panel that we can add that have the sprint attribute. I'm just going to pick one and drag over. Now he has the sprint attribute. So now we have the run animation. In order to add the sneak attribute, we're going to click on the last icon to open another panel, the last panel. And there are several items that contain the sneak attribute. Some of them you could use for cosmetic reasons or aesthetic reasons. I'm just going to pick something small and attach it to the tail. And we might as well give him a set of arms. So now on your keyboard, if you hit the number two, we have our walk animation. And number three, we have our run animation. So let's go ahead and take him for a test run. When you zoom in and out, this will change the lighting effects on your animation output. I'm going to go over here and click Export Avatar, and we just exported a squatting animation. I click it again, and we got a roll. Hit number two on the keyboard, you get your walk animation. If you click Export, animation or export avatar and immediately press number two we'll have our walk animation and click export avatar and immediately hit the three on your keyboard then we'll have run animation now right now <clears throat> on the screen he's facing left but remember they're going to all these right now we are in right direction animation mode so they'll be in the right direction rather than the left direction. 
you place your cursor over the icon with the running man running to the right it'll tell you you are already in which is indicated by the animated prism underneath the right directional icon in Canimate. So I'm just going to go ahead and click export avatar a couple more times just so you can see what's going to happen by default. Now then you can use some of these buttons on the bottom to export animations but in order to export these animations you will first have to click export avatar and then click one of these buttons to export the animation. You can click export avatar and click several buttons to get different reactions, different animations, different combinations. Alright, so we've exported some right direction animations. Let's export some left animations. Oh, wait, we need to save our creature before we change direction. So let's give it a name. I'm going to call this guy Headless. I'm going to click Save. And I got a message up above my creature that says you have to have a mouth part before you can save. And we do want to save before we change directions, otherwise our creature won't be there and we'll have to start from scratch. So back into the edit mode. I'm going to grab a mouth part. Just any mouth part for this tutorial. And now I'm going to click save. And save. And now we can go to the left direction. If you're not going to paint your creature. So now let's go to the left directional animations in Canimate. Just click the left icon. Now as a general rule, some machines will just run right through, but other machines you'll get this window pop up that says uh, make sure the listener is no longer active or click the kill listener button. If that's for, if for some reason in this version that is not functioning, just make sure the listener is no longer active. And then click continue. And then our new listener pops up. And I'm just going to place it underneath Canimate. And in just a moment, Spore will begin again. Creature Creator will begin again. And it, it's trying to update. These updates take a minute, so I'm going to go ahead and skip through. And now we've got our advertisement again. Just close that window. Go back to Sporopedia. And pick out the creature that you want to animate. And hit zero on your keyboard to start Canimate again. And now all your exported animations will be in the leftward direction. I'm just going to click a few so you can see what they look like when they're done. Now I'm going to click Output Avatar and then immediately press 2 on the keyboard. And now we've got our walk animation. I'm going to click I'll put avatar and immediately hit the number three and we've got our left directional run animation and we can just play with some animations here just to see what they look like at the finished product now we can go to the head on animation export but rather than do that we're just gonna for this tutorial we're just gonna close out Canimate
I'm just going to go ahead and click the X. Give it a second. It's going to kill the listener and kill Spore and kill Canimate. And now to see your animation output, you could just go to my documents or in this case we're going to go to C, which is Canimate on this machine. And then the name of your computer, which on this machine is Canimate. And then user. Not user, Canimate. And then my documents. my spore creations and then avatars and all these little light blue guys at the bottom are the animations we just exported I'm just going to move the screen over to the right a little bit scroll down so we can see the animations we just created I'm going to open Firefox I'm going to move that off to the left side and I'm just going to start dragging some of these animations into Firefox. So that was the first squad animation. And there's the roll and our walk animation and our run animation. And we're just going to go ahead and jump to the left side. There's the look right animation, the squat animation. Scroll down and here's where we were experimenting with animations, combinations with combination animations and here's our walk in here's our run animation and our walk animation in the next tutorial I'll show you how to bring them into stencil and make them either as lifelike as possible or or a good looking animation that doesn't take up a lot of storage space in your game That's it for now. Check out the next tutorial.